Hi, welcome to Coach House. Steve Gerzeni again, and what we're gonna do today is show you our little 220 TB twin bed. This is where our Platinum Series started. So what I like to do sometimes is come out and show people the chassis. We build our 220 on the E450 14,500 pound gross vehicle weight rated chassis. Now this chassis has a 7.3 liter engine. It has 325 horsepower and 450 foot pounds of torque. This thing is a little tank when we're done with it. Six speed transmission. Uh, it's got a lot of safety features like lane assist, adaptive cruise control, but this is where it starts. It's a 158 inch wheelbase, dual rear wheels that are eight feet wide. So when we put our bodies on, the bodies fit side to side, wheel to wheel. Um, really nice, got a 55 gallon fuel tank. So we actually pull the fuel for our 4KW generators off the main fuel tank. So you last a long time because you're pulling gasoline out of 55 gallons. But really a remarkable chassis. We order them with all the bells and whistles. Um, you have cruise control, you have power windows, power door locks. We put a real nice radio 10 inch screen in. Uh, it's got nav system on it, um, but it's really, really a remarkable little chassis. Very, very rugged, very, very strong. When we're done building this coach, it's going to weigh about 10,000 pounds. Again, 14,500 pound gross vehicle weight rated chassis with a 22,000 pound combined weight rating. So it really is a heavy duty chassis for its length. Hi, now we've moved back inside the building where it's nice and air conditioned and I can dry off again. The Southwest Florida heat's pretty miserable. But I wanted to show the whole look of our 220. This coach measures 22 feet long. It's still a single fiberglass body motorhome. The entire motorhome body is cast one piece. But I wanted to show you how nice and aerodynamically designed this vehicle is. Look at the airflow that would go over the top of the coach. We've got some solar panels up top, air conditioner up top, vents up top. But this is our two-tone paint job called Shadow. And the Shadow paint job, we've got about five paint jobs right now that are no cost. Basically the same paint scheme, but we can add different colors. So we have about five of those that we offer right now. But what's nice, again, is this vehicle is very aerodynamically designed. All of our Jalousy windows are standard. Jalousy windows, you've heard me talk in the past, are nice because you can open them in inclement weather. If you have pets, you can always have cross ventilation coming through the vehicle, which is nice. Uh, some of the things that we are real proud of, and I talk about these as well, is our side entry doors. This is a company called PTL. They make a beautiful door for an RV. Very, 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 very solid. It's got a nice screen door so that when you're in the vehicle, you can keep your door shut, get some nice airflow uh, in and out of the coach. But nice thing about this door is, listen, it's solid. And we love these doors, less problems, more solid, very, very well engineered and designed. Again, we have three steps to get into the vehicle. These are power, and they're out right now because we have the switch off on the inside. Uh, if, you, if you forget about it, again, you can turn, once you turn your ignition on, these steps will automatically retract. So it really is a nice feature in our motorhomes. We all have, we have power steps on them all. The, uh, the, the cab area up front here, you'll notice a wonderful big side entry door so you can get in and out of the vehicle very easily. We have these nice big running boards. So getting in and out of our coaches is very, very easy to do. Nice big side mirrors. These mirrors extend beyond the width, that eight foot width of the body. So while you're driving down the road, you have good clear visibility all the way down the side of the coach. Now continuing down, here we have a port for a remote LP fill. One of the nice features with our, with our Platinum and our Platinum 4 is the location of the propane tank. We've put the propane tank on the inside of the main frame rails that we showed you outside on the chassis. Uh, so we remote fill the propane tank. It's a nice big 68 pound tank, holds a lot of propane, and um, really is a nice location. 30,000 BTU Suburban Furnace on board, which is very, very nice. Here's where we store our batteries currently. 
Uh, we're working on a few different options right now, but our, these are two 100 amp hour um, uh, lithium ion batteries, which are very nice. They're on a slide tray, so they're easily accessible. You can pull them out, push them in. Uh, there are some changes coming, so I'll say that, but a really nice feature. Outside, we have 110 volt, so if you want to bring a TV, a grill, or anything like that, you could plug it in, 110 volt. We also have a cable connection. Again, you want to put a TV on a, on a picnic bench or whatever. You can, you, we've had people even mount them on the outside so that you have your entertainment center on the outside. Propane gas fill. So if you want to take a, uh, a grill with you, propane driven, you can pull right off of the main propane fuel tank from here, which is a nice feature. All of our badging is really, really nice. Again, this is a 220 twin bed, 22 feet with the twin beds in it. Uh, lighted grab bar, I miss that. Lighted grab bar, these have two of them, one on the outside, one on the inside. So they're easy to get in and out of the coach, which is really, really nice. Continuing back, the dual rear wheels we talked about a little while ago. Uh, what's nice is Coach House's bodies are eight feet wide. I've said that now a couple times, but it gives a very stable ride on the Fords because it's a heavy duty chassis and the wheels are as wide as the body. So really a nice feature. 13 foot box awning. Uh, we use Gerard, they're power. They've got wind sensors on board. Uh, they got a lighted bar, our lighted lead bar on these awnings now and uh, really, really a nice, a nice awning. Um, we always tell people in the event of any inclement weather to bring them in, but they're really, really nice when you're at a campground. Continuing back, we have our fresh water fill on this side of the coach, and beyond this, we have our 4KW Onan generator. Um, really a nice generator, low fuel burn. You got about a half a gallon per hour, so one gallon every two hours, which is, pulling off of your main fuel tank, which is really, really nice. Sam, we're gonna walk around the back of the coach now and show you a few details of it. If you notice how, again, aerodynamic everything is on the coach, really, really nice. Nice LED tail lights, LED marker lights, LED third brake light, spare tire. Again, this is an emergency exit jalousy window as well. It's got a rear view backup camera on it. Uh, generator exhaust. This bumper houses the sewer hose carrier, so a nice long bumper. We have a very heavy duty t hitch. It's a 10,000 pound rated hitch with the connector for your trailer primarily. Uh, brake controllers are something that are optional. If you need brakes, brake controller, it's something that we have to order now. They don't come standard anymore. But really is a nice aerodynamically designed vehicle. And what I want to also point out is this coach, again, I mentioned is a 22,000 pound combined weight rated vehicle. What does that mean? Our coaches, I'm going to give you simple numbers, they're not 100% accurate, weighs about 10,000 pounds. You have a 14,500 pound gross vehicle weight rating and a 22,000 pound combined weight rating. So you can put up to 14,500 pounds worth of stuff in your vehicle and then subtract whatever your vehicle is and that will tell you what you can tow. So again, these are little tanks. That 7.3 liter coupled with that six speed transmission will tow just about anything you wanna to tow. So what we'll do now, we'll continue around the driver's side of the vehicle, around the front and then we'll go inside and show you what it looks like. Okay, Sam, now we've come over to the driver's side and what I wanna point out, we're getting more and more involved with Truma. This is their Insta-Hot propane driven hot water heater and it's very, very efficient, works very, very, very well. Um, like in all of our models, we have a sewer hose carrier back here, a full length of the bumper so we can carry a very big sewer hose, which is nice. Uh, the dump stations are all gonna be very similar in that these are all gravity fed dump stations. You have your black water, which is a black valve, and you have your gray water, which is a gray pull valve. You pull your black water first, and then you pull your gray water to help flush out your sewer hose, which is nice. Low point drain to assist in winterization. And then behind these doors, we have, depending on the configuration, we have all kinds of different hookups here, which is nice. City water connection is for your, your city water hose fill. We also provide a petcock here that you can turn and it will fill up your fresh water tank. 
So again, once you're hooked up with city water, you can also fill up your potable water tank inside the vehicle, which is nice. Uh, we have a little courtesy light here, and we have a black water flush, which I've talked about in the past. This, all of our vehicles go through that anti-siphon valve, so you can use your city water hose, connect it to your black water flush, and not worry about any sort of contamination in your hose. It's a really nice way that we've done it. And then, of course, cable TV. Now, Sam, what's nice is we provide an outside shower. A lot of people like the outside showers because you can wash your dog, you can clean your sewer hose, really a nice feature. Next to that is our lockable 55-gallon gas tank. What's nice about this is, again, it pull, the generator pulls off the main tank so that um, if you fill your, your 55 gallons of fuel, you'll have about 50 gallons or so to burn through that generator, which is about 100 hours. So you have a lot of capacity in this vehicle. Next to that, we have a smart plug. The smart plug is, again, something out of the marine industry. And it does provide, it's a 30 amp service. We do not run 50, 30 amp service. But what's nice about the smart plug is it will not arc. When it's plugged in, it's plugged in. And when you unplug it, it unplugs. It actually snaps in place. And we really like this feature. We like our smart plugs. I also wanted to point out how nice and clean the exterior is. The 220 is a good vehicle if you're going to consider a regular Class B van. What's nice about the 220 is you get about the same length. I know our Mercedes Arrivas that we build are 24 feet in length. This is 22 feet in length, 8 feet wide, so a lot of people do use them like a normal Class B, even though they are in the Class B plus category. So nice and clean, we try to keep the exteriors minimal on what we cut out. Up front here, as we move forward, we have a nice storage compartment here as well. These are all compression locks, and look at how big that storage compartment is, Sam. I mean, it's awesome. Couple sets of golf clubs in there. Um, really is, a, is, a, is one of the biggest compartments that we have in the 220. Now, we also like to point out, and I say this in a lot of my videos, is our floor frames that we manufacture all come to about here. They come over the wheel well and they continue on. So any outside storage is below a solid aluminum floor frame. And that's nice for anybody that's concerned about people getting into their coach. The only way they're gonna get into your coach if it's locked is if they smash a window. That's it. A lot of times people, manufacturers, will cut these big compartments in. Yeah, they're nice, but I have keys and the industry has keys that are all common keys. Chances are I have a common key to get into that. So for protection, safety, things of that nature, we've chosen a different route. And that route is to keep all of our outside storage below that aluminum floor frame. So let's move forward and I'll show you some other things. So now we've moved a little bit forward and what I wanna point out, again, we have these nice big mirrors on the side. So again, you can look down the road from the driver's seat and look out the passenger and driver's side and see good visibility. We also have these elliptical mirrors on the bottom, so it's a wide angle shot. So you can see cars in the lane next to you. So really a nice feature. With Ford, they provide a really nice big entrance door. They provide a wonderful step and getting in and out of the vehicle is very, very nice. The dashboard and all of the, the creature comforts of the chassis are very easily accessible, and we'll show you that when we get inside. Sam, we've moved to the front of the vehicle, and I wanted to show how aggressive Ford E450s are. All chrome, very nice look, and they skipped model year 2020 to introduce this monster motor, the 7.3, and I hit on it a little bit outside. Has 325 horsepower, 450 foot-pounds of torque, with a six-speed, what they call their torque shift transmission. Really an awesome vehicle. Uh, great pulling power, a lot of power for doing just about anything you'd want to do. But uh, the engine compartment's pretty nice. You've got access to a lot of things, your, all of your fluid levels that you'd want to check, your uh, radiator, your filters, things of that nature. But what Coach House does is we actually put a slave drive, they call it a slave drive on the engine battery. So if you park your vehicles for any length of time, there's a, what they call a parasitic draw. And what we've tried to do is just cut it off. 
If you're gonna park your vehicle for let's say 30 days or longer, all you have to do is disconnect your front battery and all power's dead to the battery. So kind of a neat feature that we've installed for people to just, you know, you never know, there's so many little things that pull from these coaches as far as battery power that we need to shut it off for storage and that's a great way to do it. But also, in addition to this, I'll close the hood. Look at how aerodynamic it is again from this side. It's a very aerodynamically designed body and something that we're very, very proud of. So good fuel economy, uh, coach runs great, good pulling power, uh, really a wonderful coach. So now what we'll do is we'll go inside and we'll give you a tour on the inside. All right, Sam, we talked a little bit about the ergodynamics of the Ford chassis. And as you can tell by sitting in here, you can see how easy everything is accessible. And that makes Ford really a nice driving vehicle. Everything on the steering column is touch control. This vehicle has a lot of safety features. It also has the tire pressure monitoring system on board as well, which is part of a Ford package. But this is very easy to, easy to drive, easy to control. Everything is at your fingertips. So it makes driving this coach very, very nice. So what we'll do is continue our little tour of the coach. Now, Sam, I'm standing in the front of the vehicle and what I wanted to point out is our electrical panel again. We're putting a lot of emphasis on this electrical panel because it's an analog system and not a multiplex system. Everything is controlled by a button, so it makes life a lot easier. It's, they, they won't fail together. Everything is independent, which makes it nice. Now, continuing on, we do provide a, this coach is sold, they did not want it, but DVD players above here is a nice place for all of your electronics. And then if I flip around, we have a nice 32 inch TV up front here as well. Uh, this is also on a swivel arm that will come out and you can place it just about anywhere you'd want. Now what we really like, kind of a claim to fame, is our tower of power. With our analog system, we actually changed what we do. We have a, um, a battery management system here an hour meter for the generator above it, Xantrex power inverters, and an inverter will take 12 volt and invert it to 110 volt. So you can run all of your outlets and things like that. Go power solar controller for your, for your solar charger on the roof. Sea level, which is all of our holding tanks and battery condition. And this vehicle is equipped, our little 220, with a leveling system from HWH Hydraulics. And when we close the door, they're behind a nice glass door, which makes it very, very nice because you don't have to stare at it. It's a nice place to have a panel like this. And one of the things I like to point out is everything is singular again. So sea level goes to sea level. Go power solar goes to, goes to the solar power. Uh, HWH hydraulics goes to the hydraulics. So you're no longer hassling with multiplex wiring systems that want to blame each other. They go to the device that they were designed to control. So really a nice feature. We're really proud of our electrical system and um, something that I th we're thinking we're going to continue with for a long time. Moving back, we have a wonderful little galley here. It's got a flip up countertop, which is nice. Gives you a little bit more extension. Stainless steel sink, which we point out quite often. A nice faucet with a pull out uh, head on it as well. Two burner LP stove. This coach has a range hood above it. And then we have the convection microwave above that. This will do just about everything you want to do in the way of cooking. Microwave, uh, brown, bake, just about everything you'd want to do, which is really, really nice. Little storage area here. Um, you can put cups. You can put remotes, you can do, you know, use it as a nice little cabinet for just about anything you'd want. Um, back into the galley a little bit, I'm gonna show you some more. We have some more storage here underneath the sink. We have more storage here. Some nice pull-out drawers are all soft closing. All of our positive latches to lock all of your stuff in place, which is nice. You don't have to worry about your drawers flying open, anything leaving out of the, out of the coach. This is also a nice feature a lot of people like, is our pull-out pantry. What's nice about our pull-out pantry is they're not wire shelves. So when you place items in the pantry, the chance of them falling out or getting stuck or anything of that nature is virtually impossible. 
So it really is a nice pantry. Our customers really, really love our pantry. Now next to the microwave convection, we have the Dometic controller. This Dometic controls our 15,000 BTU ducted air conditioner. It also has a heat pump built into it, and it will also control your 30,000 BTU furnace, which is nice. Below that is our Truma hot water heater thermostat. So you can set your thermostat for your hot water heater however you feel um, you need it set. Now Sam, I wanna talk a little bit more about the air conditioning system, because generally in vehicles this small, you're not gonna find ducted AC systems. But the ducting is nice. We've got ducts strategically located throughout the vehicle, and these can all be closed, they can be turned, so if you don't want the air blowing on, you can do it. These vehicles also have a direct discharge, so the air conditioner will direct discharge to really pump out airflow hard, which is a nice feature. So if you wanna just cool it off quick, direct discharge, and then run everything through the duct work, which is very, very nice. But let's continue back here, and I'll show you some of the other features that we have. Um, we've got another remote panel here, and, and this is a remote panel for the electrical system. It's gonna control some of your major lights, your courtesy lights, accent, things of that nature, which is very, very nice. Now up at all of the fixtures themselves, we are gonna have actual switches. That's a nice feature because if you're laying in bed and you're reading and you wanna turn off your light, you just reach up and turn it off. So convenience is what we're after here, not complication, convenience. This coach that we've done is in our Cypress. Cypress has been a really big hit for us. A lighter color, um, again, all these positive latches that we use, these things lock when we close the door so you don't have to worry about any of your valuables or any of your things falling out of the cabinets. Uh, we finish our cabinets off all the way around. So the back sides of the cabinets are finished um, everything's finished off inside the cabinets, which makes them very, very nice. And I think probably a lot nicer than most. Most companies build an L, as I've called it in the past, and they'll put that cabinet up against the sidewall. So when you open a door like this, you're gonna see the, the same wallpaper that they've used on the side of the vehicle. All of our cabinets are finished off. The hardware that we use on all of our cabinets doors and drawers is all Blum brand name. Soft closing, infinitely adjustable. So these things will always stay in place. Going down the road, they call them rolling earthquakes. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of vibration and things, you hit potholes, all kinds of stuff, but it's nice the way we've designed these that they are so structurally sound. Now back here we have two twin beds. And um, twin beds are really, really nice because we've got the ability to take our twin beds and convert them into a queen size bed. So we can take this whole area back here and make it into one queen size bed. Another nice feature that we provide on all of our windows are day night shades. Again, this is our emergency exit, but we also do it here as well. We make very, very nice valances. Our valances are beautiful. We make them in house here. And then there's another MCD shade that'll come down and this will come all the way down and block all of the light. So a complete light blocker. This is gonna be on all of your windows. By having a valance like this, people can't see in either because it locks that roller shade in its place, which is a nice feature. So very nicely done, very elegant. We have some storage underneath these as well. Anywhere Coach House can put storage, we certainly do it. And I think that that's a really big feature. We've got a couple pull-out drawers on this side as well. Um, but twin beds in a vehicle like this, again, when we're dealing with a um, smaller vehicle, a really, really nice feature. So we've switched around now. I wanted to point out our hanging shirt closets that we have. These are really nice shirt closets. We have them both on the passenger and driver side. So plenty of places to hang your clothing and so forth. And in the RV world, as they call it, there's a lot of cool garments that you can get for RVing. I actually wear pants every day to work that are really super cool that you, they don't ever wrinkle. And there's several brands of camping style pants. I'm a hiker, I like to hike and stuff like that. So the pants and stuff are really cool, some of the outerwear. Uh, the floor, Sam, that you just pointed down to, this is our standard linoleum floor. Wall to wall, side to side. So the floor is completely covered. 
you never have to worry about water intrusion into your floors. The floor material that we use is waterproof. Um, it lays on top of our aluminum uh, one inch tubular steel frame that we manufacture and it will never absorb uh, any type of water, which is really a good feature. Wanted to point out the bathrooms. We're doing a lot of split baths now, but I can actually open this door all the way up and give myself some privacy, which is really, really nice. And then when I close the door, on the other side is the shower. So we have a really nice shower as well on the, on the passenger side of the coach. It's all fiberglass. It's not plastic. We had to go through testing in order to get all of our, sho our, our shower stalls certified. So it's really, a, really a good, um, I think a really nice shower. Probably one of the best shower stalls in the industry. Very durable, lasts forever, so kind of a nice feature. Now moving forward, we have a really nice eight cubic foot refrigerator here. Um, this is a NovaCool. We're offering AC, DC compressors, which that is what the NovaCool is. And then we also offer a LP gas AC absorption refrigerator. These are really, really nice refrigerators. Both aspects are nice. Uh, people, a lot of people are going into compressors because of the all electric stuff and things of that nature. But both refrigerators are about the same size and both of them work well. The difference is the Novacool freezers on the bottom and the refrigerators on the top. Now right above the refrigerators, we have a wonderful storage compartment here. A nice big storage compartment for just about anything. Maybe a secondary pantry or pots and pans or dishes, whatever you'd want to put in here. So nice, again it locks um, so everything stays safe and secure inside your cabinets. Then we have a couple more cabinets up here that also have the touch latches. Again, completely finished off, which is a nice feature. Now the last thing, Sam, is this little sitting area. This is a really nice little feature for a lot of people that want to take a, maybe a couple extra people with them on a drive. Uh, we seat belt them if people ask. And um, this is a power sofa that will actually come down and form just a little bed. It's not going to be for large adults, but it is a bed for maybe grandkids. Um, a lot of people have pets, so they take their pets with them. Great place for them to sleep. So. You know, kind of wrapping up the 220, what we love about this vehicle, it is a really, really, really good competitor to a normal Class B motorhome. Even though it's a B plus, it's 22 feet long, eight feet wide, a lot of power, a lot of horsepower, a lot of torque. It's got the 7.3 monster motor in it. It will tow just about anything you'd want to tow. Um, really an awesome vehicle. This is where we started nearly in the Platinum line nearly 25 years ago. Our company's been in business for 40 years. We used to build Class Bs prior to this. So I would like to ask you all before you ever make a decision is really see what you're looking for in an RV. Coach House prides itself on quality. Quality is number one. Customer satisfaction, as I've often told people, you cannot buy a reputation. You have to earn that reputation. And Coach House being a family-run business, we put our hearts and souls in these things. Do we make mistakes? Absolutely. But we try to minimize those mistakes and we always stand up for them. The Coach has a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty on the conversion. The appliances carry their own warranties, which are name brand. And the chassis are name brand to the, to the United States of America and Canada. So anywhere in North America, you're covered. And I would like to personally thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you're ever down in Southwest Florida and you'd like to see how these things are built, there's a lot of detail that goes into them. This is just what we show. Everything behind the scenes is built just as well as what you see on these videos. So thank you. We appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please give us a call.